yesterday, but uh, we know that it's all in God's hand. But my biggest regret is that my daughter and my son won't be the ones that say that, that their dad brought them to Jesus Christ. Mm. That's the one goal that I wish I would have accomplished. Mm. And uh, that's, that would be, if, if, if a dad asked me, I said, that's got to be it. When they talk about when it's all said and done and they say, um, hey, I love my dad, at, whether you're going to bury him or whatever, say, hey, he led me to Jesus Christ. And, and my kids are my heroes along with my wife. And um, uh, I, I just tell you, it's, uh, I've made a lot of mistakes. I really have. But I thank God for his grace because I know that uh, what's getting ready to happen tomorrow, because he lives, I can see tomorrow. Absolutely. Hey, I believe that. That's some good stuff. And I, I mentioned and, and what, what really, as, as, as you get older and, and you see the timeline, I carry a... I carry this in my pocket, so when I meet people, Jim, you can hold that. I carry this string with me a lot. So when I talk to people, and I say, imagine this string is all of eternity. And it, this white, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. And right here represents, this red represents 100 years. I can tell you, for 18 years, my first 18, 18 years of my life, I loved it. Then I got on the fast track in the middle where I'm telling you I fell far from grace. And then I decided, uh, or God decided that, hey, do you want this hundred years or do you want all of eternity? And when I was watching that tape, Coach Wooden now is somewhere right in this part of his eternity because I know he's in heaven. Mm -hmm. I know he is. I thought about Dean Smith the same way, guys. And what I've realized, what I've realized is, and it's in the Bible that if you chase this world, if you just chase this world, you're not going to get the eternity that you want because you're either going to go to heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I believe in that with all my heart. And so if it means losing this world to gain the next, that's what I want to do. Because I do want to be in heaven with my, my kids and my wife. And the other day I was watching the Billy Graham uh, funeral. And I thought one of the greatest things his son was preaching there. And the way he ended it was this. He said, yesterday my father went into glory. And he said, I can see... Bev Shea, I can see Cliff Bears, I can see Mom, I can see them all waiting on him. But I don't think they're sitting there thinking, hey, Billy Graham, this great evangelist is coming home. we got to have this really big party. They're not saying that. When Jesus Christ sees him, he's just going to say, welcome home, child. It doesn't matter what he's done here other than the fact that he loved him. And it's not going to be a big celebration other than the fact, like all of us, that's what we got to want to hear. Welcome home, child. Amen. Coach, thank you. Well, let's give Coach a hand, folks. Coach, thank you. And I, I'd like to say, Nick is such a handsome guy. Thank God he don't look like his daddy. <laughs> 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 How that work? Yeah.